Okay, so this is where you get in a little mini CD for the digital microscope. No real instructions or a web page to, to check out. It's just in, in this little plastic bag. Now this clearly goes into the USB port. It's got like some kind of uh, you know adjustment there. And this is clearly the uh, the recording side. Snap a picture. Uh, this is like the stand, I guess. I'll figure out how that works in a moment. You have a uh, calibration ruler. So we're calibrating it. This is like uh, looks like somehow this is how you zoom in and out. So I guess this goes around somewhere around here, or maybe like this around there. Yeah, there goes in that grooved area, and then you can. Uh, oh yeah, you can. Yeah. So what you can do is uh, you know this is for on here. Got to glue it on if I really want to. You know, it's a little bit loose, but you make this a little bit loose and you put it on uh, this ball and you put this you know, a little bit looser and you tighten it up. And what you get, you see, um, you put it on this side so that it can go up and down. And you have it on this side, it's not really going to too far down, but even this side you can actually point down and uh, you know do your do your your stuff. So yeah, it kind of works. I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's obviously inexpensive, but it doesn't feel all that cheap. I mean, it, it I mean it does, but it doesn't. You know, it's it seems decent, and that can go in there. It kind of clicks in now. Wrong. So that's kind of kind of neat. The only problem is I don't really have a small, you know, on my Mac. I'm curious if it works on a Mac. It said they it did. Let's go check this all out here. Okay, and there it is when you get it powered up. Now, I had a little had a little trick to get the uh, you know the software for the drivers and the uh, uh, you know to record and to see your pictures. I'll show you that on screen in a moment. Um, and basically, I, I filmed, you know, I, I put it up against here. Oops. I put it up against my shirt like that, and I filmed that. That's pretty cool. I mean, it gets real close. And I filmed a couple other things. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film the rock <laughs> and then uh, a lemon. See how those look. I'm going to take the... Uh, the uh, lemon here. I'm gonna put this. Got to get in the way here for a second. You know, I'm gonna get this as close as possible. There we go. So let's do a little screen record while we're at it. Close as possible, up to the. Uh, you know the digital. Uh, uh, microscope and now what we do we can up here you can zoom in and out and you'll see that affects the clarity. You see there's a good sharp probably 550 uh, times enhancement. 
And then if I if I continue going, you got to keep, keep keep continuing on going until it gets clear again. There. Now we're at 200 percent, or sorry, 200 times magnification. We're in real deep on that uh, <laughs> lemon. And if we zoom back out again, we'll get back just to the... And the resolution is 640 by 480. All right, let's go check out the rock. It's one of my uh, favorite little rocks I picked up along uh, one vacation here or there. We'll use the lemon as a, as a sort of uh, way to prop it up. Doesn't really matter which side. And we're gonna get right up on in there. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna have it's gonna be maybe difficult to let's try to first. Okay, there we see some microfibers in there. The one and some some crystallization, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's now uh Let's go in for the mega zoom. Whoa, look at that. Now it's hard to uh You know, at these magnification levels 200 times, you got to be real you know, real steady. And this is sometimes difficult, of course, but boy, you see some some neat details. I can move around here. Just amazing. Now I can record this by clicking here. So if I now start again, you'll see here 50%. And if I, pretty cool. And if I zoom in, I mean, look how beautiful that is. You barely even see it on the normal rock. Now here's the the lemon again. Your recordings are saved in here to your digital viewer folder, and you can get them all here. There's a new one just showed up right there, and we double click it, and on the Mac here it opens, of course, in QuickTime. And we can play it, and we see exactly what we just saw. Um, and here's where I found the software. Well, first on the on the Mac Forms form, they have another another uh, type of uh, software you can use, which is this one. Now, I don't think I'm using this one, but I'll put these links down below. And uh, what I found was this one, because what you get in the box, it doesn't come with with any. Uh, what you get in the box doesn't come with any drivers for the Macintosh or, or software. It's all for Windows, so you have to search it for yourself. So I found this site here, and they have a download. You know, it's, it looks like a third-party product, but it's basically the same thing. And they have a product here I downloaded for a Mac. And that was a digital viewer you just saw. And it works pretty cool. It's from these guys here. So that's the new digital USB microscope for the Macintosh. Pretty cool, neat little toy. Check it out on wish.com. Real affordable. Show you here it is on Wish, you know, 12 euros and it's yours. It's not going to break the bank in most cases. And it's uh, it's pretty neat. I mean, as you saw, it works and it works pretty good. The ratings are pretty high for this. I mean, 1,400 ratings and it's a four and a half out of five star. That's, that's pretty darn good. So, yeah. That's the deal. Wish.com, the 2MP 
thousand time eight LED USB digital microscope endoscope zoom camera magnifier plus stand. <laughs> there you go. All right, Pinnacle Lane signing off.